don't think I want to share a bed with rats. Hey there, welcome. You in the market for materia? Think of our selection. Any material the master rest. Freeze! Pour it on! Whoa! 
Finish him off! Oh, I over. could do that again. <laughs> Together. It's on you.
Fast way. way to make tracks is on Choco back. Choco goes for rent right here. Take it one page at a time.
See ya. right here. If you need me, hang loose. How can I help you? You take care. Of yourself out there. Have you been to Bardell Soul? It's great. Shinra scientist. Oh wow, it is you. I'm Fran. And I'm Naomi. Name's Yorda. And we would like to hire you for a job. Interested? That depends. It's simple. Girl and boy go on a date. Easy peasy, right? A date? The three of us are designers for Costa del Sol's premier fashion boutique. For our next line, we're thinking something sexy. Perfect for the beach, the bar, or in the boudoir. But creatively speaking, it's been a struggle. We've been racking our brains forever. And the showcase is basically now. 
It's do or die, and we don't want to kill our careers. So, that's where you come in. We want to see a real couple on a date, for inspiration. Well, sound like a good gig? Hojo, as in that Shinra guy? We were just doing the mayor a favor, that's all. And if we're being honest, we figured it couldn't hurt to butter up a company bigwig. We got a business to run. Because we can tell you like your women assertive. And since we're all about strong, confident ladies, we thought, ka-ching! One look at you and we knew. That woman's not afraid to take what she wants. Maybe? I mean, uh, I'd like to think so. We knew you would! And so, we've already planned the perfect date for lovebirds like you. Get rowdy at Run Wild! Be ready to swashbuckle at Pirate's Rampage. This is going to be your best date yet. We'll make sure of it. stranger jobs you've accepted. Still a job. I'll take the lead. Hey, I can help. I'll make this date our best yet. We can just keep it simple. And what's a simple date in your world? Like a walk? Across rooftops, perhaps? Sure. Ah, memories. <laughs> Look who it is. So do well, and you might just land a bullseye on her Here's a woman who knows how to hunt for a man I like. I'm better with a sword. She never once took her eyes off her man. And the way she stared at him, the score didn't matter. 
Thanks, cuties. That was just what I needed. You two, however, still have a date to finish. Go find Naomi at Run Wild. girls have next on the agenda for us more cheap date ideas oh lighten up we're trying to enjoy ourselves we're trying to get paid you're no fun at all today well for the record i am treating this as a date i wish you wouldn't we're Why? stuck with every little thing because you are more romantic believe me i know all right save your aching feet and ride a wheelie instead Time I what game? Run wild, of course. Tell me, you're not hard to guess why, seeing all those cutie wooties. Are you ready to go? All right. Which you do know this is for animals, right? Not people. People are technically animals too, right? So it's cool. Wrong. Not cool. What? I really can't compete? No, but your pet can. Although I take umbrage with that nomenclature, I'm happy to offer my assistance. Red's got this. <sighs> well, I guess we'll just have to be the cheer squad. Give me an R, give me an E, give me a D!
You are like a red bolt shooting across that field. I am quick on my feet. The three of us should go around sometime. Wouldn't that be fun? <laughs> if you enjoy losing. Hmm. Their dog is the glue that binds their relationship. And watching their little guy give it his all out there only served to strengthen their bond. That's it! I'm such a genius! I've got to get this idea down on paper! I need to get back to the shop, like, yesterday! Yorda's at the stables for the final part of your date. So what are you waiting for? Get those tushies on a chocobo! Wonder what sort of design the girls are gonna come up with. Hey, what kind of swimsuit would you want? See. Yes, you. I'm curious. Well, I prefer function over form. So durable, maybe made with non-absorbent materials that allow for full range of motion. In case you need to fight underwater. <laughs> okay. Before that, though, I need to add your information to the system. Here, take this. It'll let you rent a chocobo whenever. That's Kaima. Take good care of her. So the idea is to ride Kaima here and enjoy a romantic stroll along the beach. Oh. But that on its own sounds like a huge yawn fest. So try hunting for shells while you're at it. How about you bring me the largest one you can find? Sound good? I'll be chillin' back here. So you two run along and have yourselves one shell of a time. I don't know about you, but this is definitely a first for me. You've ridden them before. I'm not talking about the chocobos. Oh. You meant the shells, right? Right. Yeah. Wait a second. Are you nervous? About what? Easiest job I've ever had. The Merc's nervous! Hang, Hang back! for the amazing Yuffie! <laughs> <Yes. Stronger. laughs> It's on you. Watch yourself. You're in good hands now. <laughs> Don't hold back. Okay. Too bad. Take the lead. Okay, 
able to locate an old this one appears to be with it abandoned after the republic's fall exploring old ruins
We should be able to find some good shots around here. First, look at the that it? Second win. Won't last long. Still up for it? You are so in for it. Now. <laughs> Still in. You're up. How about you? Let's do this. Allow me. Keep it together. Let me look. If you insist. Got you now. Let's turn up the ground. Get lost. Got you now. Just get lost. First, then search. Sounds good. Back on the birds we go.
think I've ever seen a shell this big before. Hmm, if these things are all this size, I bet the suckers who live in them would make for good eating. Wonder how they taste. <laughs> we could ask a local, but you don't... it's so teeny tiny. You know, a lot of troopers take half a shell with them when they head out on missions. I know where this is going. It's meant to be a keepsake for their partner, right? A symbol of their undying love. And an omen of death for the trooper if anyone else sees either one, some people say. Oh, that took a turn. Well, that's not what we wanted. No, it ain't. <laughs> <laughs>
Nice, a conch. Decent size one, too. Whew. I think that should just about do it. Okay, ready to go? Are you sure? Really? Leaving the decision to me? What about you, Cloud? Are you sure? <sighs> this is the part where you're supposed to blurt out, I don't want to go back. I want to stay here with you. This date's DOA otherwise. Okay, now you're just being mean. I'm not trying to be mean. I... sorry. On you. Let me you're up. Here I go. <laughs>
Welcome back, you two. So, happen to find any neat shells out there? How is the beach? Romantic? <sighs> Whoa. Huge, right? Dang. That thing belongs in a museum or something. I can't help but wonder what is making her smile from ear to ear like that. Is it the shelves? Or... Aha! I've got it! Inspiration has finally struck! I know what to make! But before I go, swing by the fashion showcase. We want you front row center! See you there! Next time we need a chocobo, I say we ride double. It's... Down the bird? Make tracks is on Choco back. That much Choco easier to take work. in all the right scenery. Here, I'm still steering. <laughs> oh, fine. Oh if you had got to be the man up front. Really all I wanted was some R&R. &R. Grab a materia, Poppy. Tour comes to jump so let's dive in with our wheelie. many tourist attractions. We have services that cater to all kinds of activities. Swimming. Wanna shoot your shot? This swimsuit's got perfect aim. <laughs> Love might be your game, but you'll never lose in this winning ensemble. Wanna land a big catch? With this look, it'll be hook, line, and sinker. <laughs> My friends, who among you doesn't ache for that perfect swimsuit physique? You wanna get ripped? You want a hot fog? Then you better train with the best of the best! So come, come join, join our gym, gym and, and muscle maximize. maximize! I'm so glad you came! So, what did you think of the show? You were the inspo after all. I absolutely loved it! But the two of us didn't do anything inspo-worthy. We just had fun. That's what we wanted! Happy couples get us inspired and fired up. Exactly. This place is more than just a vacay spot. It's a paradise where people come to create lifelong memories. And making sure they do is what we do best. So next time you swing by, promise to frolic in the waters, bask in the sun, enjoy our town to its fullest, and leave with a smile. <laughs> <laughs> Do my eyes deceive me? Is that Cloud? Oh, hey! You trade the city for the beach, too? What are you doing here? Relaxing, really. We're on our yearly beach retreat. And commissioning this year's new singlets from these talented young women. <laughs> oh, right. That reminds me. Stop by the training facility when you have a moment. We're in need of your particular skills. Okay.
you enjoy your time. Please make yourself at home. What could be more more Be sincere. Look forward to seeing on the shore. Watch out! Save your aching feet and ride a wheelie instead. We've got fiends on the hand. Rare sea turtles called this is identified. Let's get guidance protocol. Turtles cults, whose males are over. an extra turn, are full of ilio voice and fertility. It's not. It was called I got your number. People take lead. Presented by household leaders with turtles cults spines.
Once a year, we take a retreat to enjoy the sun and sea breeze. Nothing like getting some gains? What do you say? Care to... I think I would. I haven't done a proper workout in forever. Well, we'll happily help you both become your best selves. You mean it? Well, I might just take you... Here's a question for you, Cloud. What would... Exactly. Can't expect to bulk up without the building blocks. Treat your muscles to a nice post-workout meal, and they'll reward you with even bigger gains. Now let's get down to business, shall we? The reason I wanted you to stop by? Monsters have been spotted skulking around the facility, and I want them gone. Sure. Should be easy enough. Splendid. We can't train our bodies unless our minds are at ease. So you'll be doing all of us muscle heads a big favor. Tears that never stop! Lift, laugh, love! Let's get out there and kick some ass. Someone's excited. Well, yeah. Wanted an excuse to work up a sweat, and now I've got one. Wonder what little Tifa would say. <laughs> I think she'd be pretty proud. Gotcha! <coughs>
Just some mental meal prep. The ideal post-workout dish. <laughs> so, you were the one behind 7th Heaven's menu? Half was a holdover from the old owner. The better half was mine. Huh. Should I hate there more? Yeah. You snooze, you lose. Eater. Soldiers can't be choosers. We ate what we were fed. Well, I used to be super picky, actually. Really? Used to be. Not anymore, though. Can't be choosers in the slums, either. What about crab? Mm, not a fan. <laughs> yeah, me neither. Oh, 
Tidja. Soldiers. They put a lot of thought into making them healthy. Not much into making them tasty. Ugh. <laughs> that face says it all. You know, it's funny. What? Didn't realize it at the time, but we ate pretty good when we were kids. Yeah. Homegrown fruits and vegetables, and great chefs eager to use them. Wanting to grow on. <laughs> <laughs> 
Ready to head back? Power through, muscle fibers! Oh, hey there, Cloud. Tifa. Heard you two took care of our little monster problem. Can't thank you enough. Now we can get back to training fiend free. Excuse me. Sorry to butt in, but you wouldn't happen to be the one who beat these guys in a pull-up contest, would you? Uh. Watch it, rookie! Don't badmouth us! But that's how it went down, right? <laughs> Your team... After I heard how you crushed it, I knew I had to join the gym. You're the reason I'm here! Oh, wow. And I'm not your only fan. Look, all of us signed up because we wanted to be just like you! It's just as she says. Thanks to you, our female membership has absolutely skyrocketed. Needless to say, we're very grateful. I didn't really do anything. Are you kidding me? You're literally my inspiration! Which is why I, uh... I want to challenge you to a sit-up contest! Uh, right now? So you know, Amina's been training to achieve your look, Tifa. You'd be helping her measure her progress. Let me sweeten the deal. If your abs prove superior, I'll add a bonus to your reward. How's that sound? On me, okay? Incredible form! <laughs> that was perfect. Uh. It's almost like your muscles are singing. I can't get enough of those beautiful muscles! Don't brush it. Don't you ever get sore? You're both so stunning! <laughs> Show up. Someone's been slacking off. Just like that! Uh. We gotta do this again sometime! Let's see who's the crunching queen! Just say the word and... from <sighs> beautiful <sighs> incredible form <sighs>
Don't you ever get sore? Truly incredible. You're killing it! <laughs> Show up. Incredible form! Now's your chance, Amina! You're both so stunning! Don't go easy on me, okay? Get sore? Yeah, keep it up! <laughs> Show up. Beautiful! Where'd that come from? You're killing it! Don't you ever get sore? I'm at a loss for words. Uh, I'm so pumped! Yeah, keep it up! Incredible form! Uh, Attune uh, yourself to your ass. That was perfect. Uh, it's almost like your muscles are singing. Uh, Truly incredible. Uh, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> Show up. That was perfect. Uh, Just like uh, that! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Having a hard time. I'm... Don't go easy on me, okay? Sure. I'm at a loss for work. Try to have fun with it.
Incredible form! It's almost like your muscles are singing! Where'd that come from? I'm so pumped! You're both so stunning! <laughs> You're killing it! <laughs> Show <laughs> up. You two are doing <laughs> awesome! <laughs> yeah, keep it up! Beautiful! <laughs> You're killing it! <laughs> Don't you ever get sore! <laughs> it's almost like your muscles are singing! <laughs> I'm at a loss for words. Just like that! Incredible form! Oh man, who's gonna win this one? It's too close to call! Yeah, keep it up! What hell of a workout! I was just getting warmed up. Fight through the pain. Almost done. Oh no, muscle cramp. <laughs> wow, you've got abs of adamantite. Thanks a lot. You put up a good fight, though. Like I said, you're an inspiration to me, to all of us. Nobody's born with a beautiful physique like yours. I can tell you poured gallons of blood, sweat, and tears into your training. Honestly, I... Sorry. Thank you. Glad I could help. Well, actually, I was hoping that, if it's not too much to ask, would you, Tifa, be my muscle mentor? Me? Really? I don't know. By all means, you have my blessing. If you don't mind dropping by from time to time, I'm sure she'd benefit from your advice. Might as well. If that's what you want, then I'll back you up. Oh my gosh! Thanks, Coach! <laughs> <laughs> Muscle mentor. Has a nice ring to it. There you go, then. Your extermination fee. And is promised a little extra for helping her out. Come back whenever you want to pump some iron. You're always welcome. Die, fat deposit! Power through, muscle fight! Second break. Slam that protein. Nothing beats a good protein shake.
Back all the mooglets for me, Koopo. know this. He ate a ton of Koopo nuts. It's such an inspiring story, Koopo! Over here! Over here!
take the lead. Watch yourself. If you insist.
We won't hold back. How about you show Hang back. Don't overdo it. I got luck. I'm your one stop clobbering shop. Johnny sent me to check on you guys, help you find materials. Oh, that was pretty smart of me. No, no one, one knows, knows me better, better than myself. 
And this whole synchronized talking thing is kind of creepy. We had actually already gathered everything we needed, but then we ran into some fiends and had to zipline for our lives. So unless they took our stuff for some weird reason, everything should still be right where we dropped it. We think. You'll help us get it all back, won't you, bro? The more pieces you pick up, the better off me and me'll be. Having our bro help out's like having a hundred of us. Even better. So, so you, find you find anything, anything bro? bro? They ought to be all around the zip lines, right where we dropped them. You'd be doing us a solid by tracking them down. Come on, don't leave us hanging. We need your help. Having our bro help out's like having a hundred of us. Even better. Throw a hundred Johnnies in a fight and we'd still get our asses kicked. be so scared we'd run before the fight began so you, you find, find anything, anything bro they ought to be all around the zip lines right where we come on don't leave us hanging we need your help Is a terrible idea. Uh, I think you meant to say terrific idea. Come on, Cloud. Just imagine how much fun it could be. Oh. What did I tell ya? Or you be more fun. This looks like a job for the UT squad. How about we take a look over there? Yeah, I think we'd have better luck over there. If it's not material, I'm not interested. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 Take long.
the last of them, right? So, you, you find, find anything, anything bro? bro? Whoa. Honestly, we don't even remember collecting this much stuff. You're incredible. You got that right. Our bro's a cut above. I guess we better get this hall back to our palace, kind of, sort of, by the sea. Which means our work here is done, right? Well, since you asked, a couple of the other Johnnies went looking for parts to fix the boiler. Wait, there's more of you? Yep, and I bet they could really use your help. I think they were headed toward one of those old Republic-era factories. Tell them Johnny says hi. It's a thing we do.
Hey, Johnny said that you needed my help. What? No, no I, I didn't. didn't. Wait, was, was it you? you? Not me. me. So, so you're, you're saying, saying it was me? me. No, no way. You're, you're too, too stubborn, stubborn to ask for help. help. Hey, you're, you're talking, talking shit about me. <laughs> you two are a riot. Have you thought about starting a two-man show? I bet it'd be a smash hit, right? So? Well, we were looking for a part to help us repair the boiler, but it turns out nobody makes it anymore. Then we thought, why don't we just make it ourselves? So to do that, we're hunting for a transmuter chip. Any luck? Sure wish we had a chocobo right about... <sighs> okay. So we! We're looking for instructions on how... And if you find one of those chips, feel free to just transmute a Are you trying to give us even more work? You two are the best! Here! X works the spot! Wait, didn't we try digging there before? Come on, trust me! This is it! That boiler is as good as fixed. Hot, steamy showers in every room. <sighs> well, we should probably report back to Johnny now that we've bailed out all the others. Uh, actually... There's one more. <sighs> Where is he? Said he wanted to give the Hotel Royal flair by putting the Tonberry King's crown on display. Last we heard, he was desert-bound. Hope he's not dying of thirst or knife wounds. You wouldn't mind going to check on him for us, would you, bro? Not at all. You're, You're the, the best. best! Well, we got a boiler to fix, so we're gonna head back. Our other life is in your hands, bro. Is that a mirage? I can't believe you're here, bro! Me neither. Well, I'm glad you are. You see, we're renovating the hotel. And I thought a Tonberry King's crown would give the place that police. But it's, uh, somewhere over there. Rumor has it, the Tonberry King lives somewhere nearby. But there's no way your boy Johnny can get through the desert on foot. Listen, bro, I don't know if you were planning to check out the dunes, but if you are, you'd really be doing me a solid if you brought me back that crown. Preferably in the most pristine condition possible. Fine. Just sit tight. I hope you know a way into the desert cloud, because I sure don't. Over the mountains? Or something? Oh, your kindness is bringing me to tears, bro! I eagerly await your safe and fruitful return. Just don't keep me waiting too long. We Johnnies are delicate flowers that wilt in the desert heat.
Take the lead. You're up. I'm your one-stop love right now. again soon! Thank you. 
out of service. So we've got a walk? Uh, you'll be fine. Fresh air, nice view. The view ain't all that. Not unless you enjoy staring at ruined reactors. Right. You grew up around here, didn't you? <sighs> Let's get a move on. Hey, Cloud! Materia's like super condensed Mako or something, right? So? So? That means wherever we find Mako, we'll find Materia too! <laughs> All right, timeout's over, team. Let's go. You know, Yuffie, when you're part of a team, you can't just do whatever you feel like. What? So does that mean I gotta run everything by you first? Yep. So that's the game. Fine. Permission to sing, sir? What? Permission to scratch my back, sir? Permission to blow my nose, sir! Huh? Oh, so hurt. Oh, didn't get permission to yawn yet. Well, do I get permission or not? Sure, you can do it while you're warming the bench. That's an abuse of power! Tyrant! Tyrant! Now tell me a secret. How'd you put up with this jerk face? <laughs> His good qualities outweigh the bad. Yeah, by how much? Like 51% good guy to 49% jerk face? Maybe a little more than that. So what, like a 55-45 split? Close to. Not you, Tilt Tifa. might need a break. Sorry. My legs are killing me. <sighs> Let's rest here. But if we stop now, the materia... I mean, the mystery men might slip away. Hey, I know what to do. I'll go on ahead and scout the area for us. You guys can catch up later. Well, see ya. <laughs> catch up later, my ass. <clears throat> I think I'd better go keep an eye on them. Barrett's not himself right now, you know? I know. Take your time, okay? No need to rush. Thanks. Will do.
get ahead of us.
Do this fast. It's on you. Why don't you lead the way? You ready? I'll take care of them. Get ready. Whatever. That'll do. Go on. Yeah. Feeling chilly? Someone looks kind of shaky.
You still holding up okay? Yeah, feeling great actually. Could do this all day. It's like, it's like someone's pulling me up. You've become one with the mountain. Say what? Really? I did? Hey! Thanks for having me! The hell are you doing, Red? Relax. <clears throat> it happens to all new climbers. If she passes out, I'll carry her. Let's go! Celebrate.
characters these days ain't got no manner. They greet each other, it's proper. Uh, I tell you, hikers these days ain't got no manner. You greet each other, it's proper. Uh, I tell you, hikers these days ain't got no manner. You greet each other, it's proper. Uh, I tell you, hikers these days ain't got no manner. You greet each other, it's proper. <sighs> well, I'll be. Finally. I don't get it. Tons of folks hiking up the mountain today, and not a one of them so much as nodded my way. Even try calling out to a few sick-looking fellas all in black, and what did I get? Silence. <sighs> I guess these days never learn to greet each other or something.
Out you go. Again? Well, look who it is. <clears throat> you here to pick a fight? What? Oh, <laughs> no. Just dropping off some unruly passengers. They were fine when we left Junon. And then they weren't. So, here we are. Don't know why. One minute they were okay, and the next... Eh, whatever. This is way above my pay grade. So, that's it? Well, since you're here...
love to stay and chat, but Root and I are busy people. She'll be more than happy to keep you company, though. Now play nice, shit birds.
fight. The Turks are back on duty, huh? Wish they'd all go on vacation. For real. Come on. We need to find the others. The next order of business is the Magnus Materia project. As you are aware, simultaneous energy spikes were detected in Mako reactors across the world. After analyzing the data from each site, we found the spikes stemmed from the arrival of visitors, unfathomably large life forms. Oh, is that a weapon? Based on available information, it would seem so. They supposedly appear when the planet is in danger. And each one carries an enormous orb of materia. More specifically, an orb from which they themselves were born. They are living enigmas, organisms dying to be understood. And finally, my dream of capturing one is within reach. <laughs> oh, what I wouldn't give to peel one's flesh back, pull it apart, and see what makes it tick. What? Your wish, Professor, will soon be granted. We'll all get what we want once that materia is ours. This 
is ridiculous. Why waste time monster hunting when we're on the brink of creating the materia ourselves? I'm aware of your efforts, but it would behoove us to obtain naturally occurring specimens as well. Well, they would look good in the lobby. <laughs> Put them in the bathroom for all I care. Just leave me the carcasses. Those I'll take. Mr. President, please. What is this really about? Wu-Tai is after them. Well, talk about burying the lead. Heidegger, I'll need troops. My finest for the Madam Director. <laughs> Mr. President. Yes? There's a question I never had the chance to ask your father. Perhaps you could speak on his behalf. Hmm. We used Avalanche's activities as a cover to sabotage our own reactors and destroy Sector 7. Your father assured us these acts were in service to the Neo Midgar project. However, the fact remains that we have yet to locate the promised land of legend or even confirm if it actually exists. Great though he was, my father was old. And in his dotage, he became rash. But while we're on the subject, there's something I've been meaning to ask all of you regarding those decisions. Why is it that none of you even tried to stop him? <sighs> <sighs> Shinra must change. We must break new ground, grow stronger, smarter, observe, adapt, expand, control. My father built his empire with your loyal support, and I demand the same. I expect you all to prove that you are devoted not only to the company, but to me. <laughs> Yeah? Let me in. Um, Elmira? Zack, right? Yeah. Where is she? Upstairs. I'm going to take her home. Now slow down. I've been to your place. Shinra's got it staked out. Not anymore. They have bigger things to worry about. But... And I can't leave her with you. Of course you can. Just look at Cloud. I've been taken care of... No, you haven't. Look at the state you've left her in. You didn't even wipe her face, for goodness sake. I'm sorry. Your note had me worried, and now that I'm here, I 
can see that I was right to be concerned. I brought a wheelchair for Aerith. But if Cloud's coming too, you'll just have to carry him. Think you can handle that? Yeah, I can do that much. That's Aerith's, uh... Yes, I know. She okay? You're okay. Right, Aerith? ending. At least, that's what everyone's saying. Which way do you think Midgar is? It would be east of here. That way. I wonder how my mom's doing back there. She seemed fine when I saw her. Maybe a little worried. She's gonna hate me for this. Talk to her as soon as you get home. She'll understand. Really looking forward to that conversation. Okay. Yep. Really worked up a sweat. So how'd recon go? All clear. No nasty surprises and no materia. <laughs> we managed to catch her before she could get as far as the reactor. Which is the whole reason we're here. So hurry it up, or those hooded guys will beat us to it.
That's it. The Corel Reactor. Hey, so what's the deal with all these creepy hooded guys anyway? They're Shinra's victims. Hmm. Well, they're in good company. I'll give them that. Hmm? How you figure? When Shinra invaded Wutai, it was... pretty bad. They leveled towns, killed thousands. And when the dust settled, they forced some BS truce on us. I thought both sides wanted a ceasefire. <laughs> the old geezers at the top did, yeah. But the rest of us were pissed. They've been running Wutai into the ground for years. It was the last straw. We were done. Everyone was ready to kick those old farts to the curb. And that's when Colonel Lodbrock's team showed up. Three ex-soldiers ready to join the cause. Who'd you say? Lodbrock! His squad saved Wutai from those senile old fossils. Paved the way forward. They didn't do it alone, though. While the Colonel's crew was rallying the people, their friend Viceroy Saruf agreed to help. Then, BAM! Revolution! And that is how the interim government was born. Revolution, huh? Y'all did good! <laughs> but... why the interim? Because, once this war with Shinra's behind us, the whole country's gonna come together and decide what kind of government we want. Which is why we're doing everything we can to make sure the interim ends in independence. Pretty cool, right? Just gonna stand there? Let's get going! Down there is Mako? Yep. Then it's gotta be hiding some ginormous materia! Woohoo! Oh, I'm gonna be so powerful, it's scary! to appear when the planet is in grave danger. Hojo has sought them for years. Did you see what was inside it? That had to have been the biggest freaking materia ever! Just gotta figure out how to catch that overgrown fish. That guardian of the planet? Whatever. I'm not about to let a materia that beautiful get away. And just so we're clear, it's mine. I called it. Cool. You fish. We'll keep moving. Hey! Not cool! This isn't goodbye, sweet weapon. I'll be back for you soon! <laughs> mm. A guardian beast like that wouldn't show up unless Shinra had really pushed the planet to the edge. Meaning... Avalanche was right about the threat they posed all along. We were, weren't we? Yeah. But don't forget, Shinra is not the only problem. Right. Sephiroth is still out there. 
He is, and talking won't stop him. For now, can't cross till we lower it. Well, this sucks. What? You know this area, don't you? <clears throat> Control room's up there, at the top of the cliff. How do we reach it? Through the mine. Won't be a walk in the park, though. Place has been abandoned for years. <sighs> We're working on it. Just wait a minute. Hey! Cloud! Come on. the Mako got to him. Regardless, he's clearly tired. Cloud could rest here while a couple of us go and lower the bridge, yeah? <laughs> Works for me. When that thing rings, you'll know we're done. And you, don't move till you're good and ready. All right, put on your mining helmets and follow me.
You're in good hands now! Fuck all Get this! Off.
sure need someone to unlock this thing from the control unit upstairs. Can you? Uh, if I have to.
for mercy. Okay. You're going down. You got this? You even have to ask?
Just <laughs> 
We have to help them. Way ahead of you. Ah! <laughs> 
Leave me alone. Hey! Someone has a fan. Ah, uh, no fair. Got enough hangers on already, but fine. <laughs> Hey, hey, hmm? check out its head. Does it remind you of anyone? It's Cloud, only cute. <laughs> that settles it. I hereby dub thee Cloud Junior. <laughs> hey, we could take that minecart down. Save ourselves a hike. Not the smoothest ride, but it sure is fast. Me and Dine used to... <sighs> Forget it. Let's just lower the bridge and get back to the others. These buttons ought to do it. But which one? Hmm. Now I got this. Uh. First that, then. Now that the bridge is good to go, let's touch base with the others. Roger. Hello, hello! This is Special Agent Yuffie. Can you read me, Commander Cloud? How you doing? Feeling better? I'm good. We'll take a cart back down. You three follow the tracks till you hit the bridge into town. Figure we link up there before heading in. You copy? Copy. Oh, and set our route while you're at it, will you? The gentler the ride, the better. Don't want anyone losing their lunch. I'm begging you, Cloud, please. I wouldn't mind some excitement, but what you gonna do? Now. 
you're done. See you around. We should be able to switch the track here. are gonna be okay? These tracks seem about ready to fall apart. I have a feeling they'll hold for a while yet. You do? Of course. I'm standing on them, aren't I? Wait, I've read about this. Cats and dogs can sense all kinds of stuff through their paws. Things our feet could never pick up on. Yeah, they're super sensitive. You're pads, right? Except that mine can discern far more than any pet. So, Red? No. I didn't even say anything yet. Cloud! What 
What's our route looking like? Do what I could. Should be fine. Are you sure? Like, really sure? <sighs> Thanks for that. Sit tight. We'll be down soon. Only way out is through. So buckle up, buttercup. Okay? Uh, better than I thought, actually. 
Guess Cloud didn't feel like completely screwing us over. <laughs> what a letdown. Still alive? Miraculously, yeah. Homecoming? You'll see. Great Sir Wallace has graced us with his presence. Hmm? Surprised he had the balls to come back, but we're so glad you did. <laughs> <laughs> Heroes welcome. Leave him alone! Don't. What? <sighs> Whatever. Let's go. Word to the wise! Stay far away from that asshole! Now, where'd our buddies in black get to? Well, I'll be. Ah, which of you killed the bottle? Him. Go get more. The hell I did. <laughs> Gotta say, not a bad selection. Bet this <laughs> a customer. <laughs> not a day goes by, I don't wonder.
why he joined the watch. Don't tell me. Get rich quick scheme blow up in your face again? Try to sell out another town, huh? Don't let him talk to you like that. I can take it. Been out of work for ages. Wonder why. Sorry! I'm sorry! I How dare you show your done. face here! Get the hell out of here! You sure you're okay with this? Yeah. She a new wife? Well, good for you. Glad someone got their happy ending. Sorry, Tifa. Just ignore them. This place is lost. Seemed like it was. Was it something I said? Where are we? I was. I was there. So much prettier. One kiss now. I trust you ain't just window shopping. When I got hurt back in Nibelheim, they brought me to this clinic. The doctor here, Sharon, he's the one who saved my life. Oh. You're telling me Doc Sharon's the one who fixed you up? Come on. In four years, not a day goes by I don't... Do not be deceived. You know the truth. Trust in me. Sephiroth! <laughs> the hell's gotten into you, man. What's going on? Barrett Wallace. Dr. Sheeran. It's... it's been a while. <laughs> Certainly has. <laughs> That's one frightening looking appendage you got there. But hey, at least you still seem to have your health. Yeah, and you too. Oh, I'm feeling the miles, but the work keeps me trucking. I tell you what though, do you remember me? Well, of course I do, Tifa. It hasn't been that long. You heal up all right? I did, yeah. I just wanted to drop by and say thank you. If it wasn't for you, I doubt I'd be standing here today. Don't thank me. Thank Lady Luck and Shinra for that helicopter. I'm sorry, Shinra? I know you might find it hard to believe. But not all the apples in that bunch are rotten. But seriously, you're living proof of the good in people. Don't ever forget that. It'd be a pity to let their kindness go to waste. Yeah. Besides, you need to set a good example for your friends here. Oh, huh. right. Well, I gotcha. Mind helping me out? Need to draw that gentleman's blood. You think he can hold him still for me? 
At first, I thought it was just Mako poisoning. It is until I ran some tests. The results were strange. Strange how? A substance turned up. One I've never seen before. Not sure what to make of it yet, but it did remind me of one I have seen. Your eyes. Soldier, right? X, soldier. It's not a job, son. Once a soldier, always a soldier. Huh. Spare a drop? No. Yeah. I ask, because I suspect there's soldiers suffering from cellular degradation. Just a theory for now. And one I can't prove, not without a lot more testing. You see many of these guys come through? Yeah, and then some. I do what I can for the injured ones, but leave the rest to stumble onto the saucer. Why would they go there? Shit. <laughs> Don't ask me. I think it's odd too. <sighs> Ain't that something? The girl I saved coming back here with Barrett of all people. I'm sure there's some kind of cosmic significance to that, but hell if I know what it is. <laughs> so. Tuck mentioned the gold saucer, right? As in the amusement park, where every day is a holiday? We're going, right? I mean, we have to. Yuffie, this isn't a vacation. Yeah, yeah. Weird mumbling guys, got it. Oh man, this is gonna be so much fun! Town's got a ropeway that'll take us straight there. It's not far. If we're doing this, let's just do it. <laughs> Figured you'd have moved on by now. Glad you're here in any case. I got a situation. We have one of your robed men. If you want him back, Agree to the terms. What's this? Beats the hell out of me. Guess some fool got it in their head I was... You gonna pay up? Look at this place. Can barely afford bed. <sighs> Only option is to save the man myself. Or hire... Or the right merc's friend. To be no better to hunt down a criminal than someone who's got a nose for tracking. Well, I can't argue with you. That was easy. So where do we start? What you see is what you get. No hidden code. Hey, you're the detective. Well, I'm glad one of us is enjoying Cloud. The left. <laughs> There's a strong scent, but how about that? Picked up the trail already. Ah, which reminds me. There's a compound in our robed friend's sweat that glows when exposed to this light. Just hope it helps some. Follow me, Cloud. You can actually smell them? My olfactory sense is 7,000 times more sensitive than yours. Bodily secretions are as distinct as any perfume. A single sniff of a person's clothing is enough for me to locate them. Though there are a number of competing smells through which I must sift. Huh. What do I smell like? Hmm. Like a man who's killed his fair share of fiends, I suppose. <laughs> like blood and shit then. Not little shit, no. Welcome to North Corral. The coal mining industry here was the largest in but everything changed. As you can see, this village is a casualty of progress.
I hope you won't mind my mentioning, but I've observed that World Intel Collection is stalled of late. I'm certain you have heard of the world. Curious, but I'm Dorian. Represented, it is my duty to support those who liberate me. I hope you will aid me in my hump. How may I be? Their sense seems to lead straight ahead, but... Oh, that's not good. What? Nothing. No. 
Hello there. Different scent. He has nothing to do with the kidnapping. <laughs> Aw, you must be hungry, huh? Sorry, but this is people food. <sighs> Whoa, easy there. I can spare a bite. See a guy in a black robe come? Hmm. Now that you mention it, it was his one hooded fella, with a chocobo carriage headed toward a cave nearby. Though I am a skilled tracker, I have one terrible weakness. What? My appetite. With this overpowering aroma of meat in the air, I don't think I'll be able to focus on the kidnapper's scent. <laughs> I heard that. Grilled meat is all it takes to throw you off your game? <laughs> Cloud, look. You gotta be close. Time to put the doctor's light to you. Once we found our man, what should we do with his captor? Well, Sharon asked us to rescue his patient. We didn't say anything about how we should deal with the kidnapper. You mean? We'll figure it out later. Understood.
This is nothing. <laughs>
This is the kidnappers' camp. No sign of them. So, do we wait? Help! Some crazy bastard kidnapped us and stuck us in this cave! <sighs> Why would we know anything? We were too freaked out to even look at him. The kidnapper could be anywhere. The smell. Cloud. It's the shit. Oh, boo! Aren't you a clever little puppy? Sniffing at <sighs> Okay. Where is he? Think we just... We're not your average criminals, kid. And Ellie? The elusive! Bury the brash! <laughs> I wonder what your friends would have paid for you. Guess we'll never know.
Give us the guy, or you're next. Ah, oh, shit. Now what? Now? Now nothing. Dog or no dog, they're never gonna be able to hear that. Give us the money. What? <sighs> hey! We told you to stay put! <sighs> I knew we should have talked. <sighs> what? Old Barry, look. The kid's eyes. He's a soldier. No wonder he wiped the floor with that monster. Even the strongest ones don't stay strong for long. Sooner or later... <sighs> stay a while! Sure you got lots to catch up on! Suck it, loser! <sighs> Let him go. We got... <sighs> Let's take him back to Sheeran. Glad to see our man still alive. And see for a few scrapes, none the... Is it true that soldiers' cells degrade? Uh, believe me, if I knew, I'd tell you. But Shinra keeps a tight lid on everything soldier-related. Only doctors with access to those secrets are the company's own. I certainly don't qualify. If anyone here was gonna have answers, it'd be you, son. Been feeling under the weather? Not really. The procedure you boys underwent was cutting edge. So much so, I doubt anyone in the company knew what the long-term effects might be. The more information we have, the better. <laughs> so, uh, change your mind about that blood sample? No. <laughs> well, one of these days, I'll win you over. Take whatever, bet. It's time you moved on. This will take us all the way to the salsa. Hey, you can't let those assholes talk to you like that. We should go back and beat him up or something. Practically, the whole damn town came out to crap on him. Someone tell me why I'm the only one who's pissed here. I told you, I can take it. Think you could at least tell us what it was all about? They were talking like you sold them out for money, but... I know that isn't true. That's not you. So how'd they get it so wrong? Where the hell is it? This about her? About Marlene?
Israel wasn't much. Decent place with decent coal. Decent folks, too. Rough around the edges, but big hearts. Salt of the earth. And I sold them all down the river. Took away their future and their hope. We were happy, covered in soot and porous dirt, but none of that mattered. We had friends and family, and that was enough. Till we learned about the miracle of Mako and all we'd been missing out on. And then we just had to have a taste. <laughs> so now only Dine is opposed. Damn right I am. We can't just abandon the mines. Not after our fathers and grandfathers risked their lives to maintain them. I hear you, Dan. I do. But nobody sees any future in coal. So I ask you, why break our backs working harder and harder when we're taking home less year after year? Mm. <sighs> if I may, sir. Once the reactor is complete, a portion of the revenue will go to the town. Your community will be preserved, or enriched, I should say. Listen, man. This is your chance to give your daughter a better life than what we have. You think I haven't thought about that? Come on. Are we gonna let some city slickers tell us our coal is worthless? We gonna let them tell us we're worthless? It would seem we've reached an impasse. In which case, any further discussion would be a waste of breath. So, Mr. Mayor, shall we put it to a vote? Favor. <sighs> Two years later, the reactor was finished, and the trial run went off without a hitch. Everyone was ecstatic, convinced it was the dawn of a new era. Then one day... <clears throat> the reactor exploded. Y'all saw the aftermath. Shinra came rolling into town. Burned everything. Innocent people in their homes. Was that Scarlet? It was, wasn't it? Yeah. That bitch. I don't get it. Why burn the whole town? To craft a story that it was all the work of a local insurgent group. But ain't no villager ever gone near the reactor. They lied right through their teeth. Murderers. Hmm. That they are. Still, there's a whole lot of blood on my hands, too. I push for the reactor. I put us on the path that brought us here. Barrett. The saucer's waiting.
Is this really how it's gonna be? Listen, I don't want your sympathy or your pity. You can keep all of that nonsense. I did what I did, and I can live with it. Right. We gotta shake this off. We're about to rock up to the funnest place ever! The Gold Saucer! Huh? So turn those frowns upside down! <laughs> what in the hell? Ain't no one but you thinking about how much fun we're gonna have. Right? Wanna have a look? It's coming up over there. Oh! 